Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. I'm going to start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor. Until Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Arachach, Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great Muslim who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. And the scriptures say, even he who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. You know, I would wonder you know, where they get the idea to come up with all this uh, left hand technology. Well, the scriptures, you know, gave the forewarning, you know, how this beast, this uh, devil, you know, he will be able to um, communicate with our left hand entities to get ideas, all right, to um, create all this technology that we see, all right? And it's all, of course, you know, for the fulfillment of prophecy, because like even the Lord said concerning Pharaoh, the Lord said that he would actually raise him up that he may show his power in him. So this devil's pride is at an all-time high. But he's getting communication with the spiritual demon Satan, because that's who's the prince of this world. All right? So um, there's a couple of videos that I want to uh, show in this lesson, which uh, pretty much confirms, you know, that, you know, these uh, devils are, are connected, you know, with the spiritual demon Satan. And this is where they get all their ideas, you know, from there, you know, that they have these uh, research centers. They got these uh, scientists, you know, which are your modern day uh, witches and warlocks that they use to, uh, you know, bring forth. You know these are uh, technologies and um to, to to follow through with these agendas that they have all right this is all to um you know fulfill their so-called enterprise in which the lord said that he would disappoint the devices of the crafty that their hands cannot perform their enterprise so at some point the lord's gonna you know offset them all right where things are gonna go wrong because all this enchantment you know that they're bringing to the earth it's not going to have any effect on the Lord's elect. As a matter of fact, let me uh get that. Because it said that even, you know, you're going to have, uh, you know, false anointed that shall arise and deceive many. And they're going to do uh, strange wonders, you know, that they would, you know, even uh, deceive the very elect. But we know that the elect won't be deceived. Uh, let me go to it real quick. I believe it's in Matthew 24. You know, they got this, uh, you know, they got deep fake technology. They got holographic technology where they can actually, you know, try to, uh, you know, mimic and fake a second coming of our Lord. And, you know, they probably even uh, mimic the angels, you know, the chariots that, you know, certain brothers see. Like, I've seen examples where you had the, um, those uh, Starlink satellites that actually travel in, in, in a line, in a line formation through the sky, but they look like chariots. And uh, certain brothers then caught them and, and believed that they were um, chariots, you know, the angels, when in fact they were just uh, Elon Musk Star, Starlink uh, satellites. You know, so you got to be very careful, man, because, you know, Satan is very deceptive. This is uh, Matthew 24. Let me go down. Let me just type it in. Hold on. And that's why the scriptures say in 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, which we always uh, bring out, you know, lest Satan should get an advantage of us for we're not ignorant of his devices. All right, you got to be very spiritually, you know, discerned. All right. This is uh, Matthew 24 and 24 says, for there shall also, there shall arise false anointed and false prophets 
All right, and uh, they got their prophets on the left hand side, you know, bringing forth their lying wonders, you know, their predictive programming, so on and so forth, and shall shoot great signs and wonders, you know, so called miracles through their AI, their artificial intelligence technology. And so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. All right, but um, there's no um, enchantment against uh, Jacob. All right. Plus, you know, you got people from their own side, you know, who's, uh, you know, spilling the beans, so to speak. You got, you know, these different uh, researchers and, um, you know, uh, investigators, authors, you know, that, that, that are insiders that know about the left hand and what they're doing. And they actually uh, come out and they put it in their books or they speak on it in these uh, interviews. And that's... Uh, Pursuing the Psalms, the 64th chapter, that's the Lord causing them to basically cause their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Psalm 64 and 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. All right. And that opens up, all right, their business, you know, to the world. And it's mainly the, uh, the prophets of the Lord. You know, who's uh, speaking on these things and blasting this devil. All right. And, and putting it out there for our people, you know, for for, for warning and, and to, 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 you know, get our people to wake up. All right. Because this devil, he's setting all type of traps and snares all right, from the left hand side. He gets his help from the spiritual demon Satan. So anyway. This is uh, the first video clip and lord willing you know they don't clip this video um i don't think anything is said particular that's gonna strike it but you know who knows but um you know if i happen to get a strike then i'll just uh, upload on my other uh page my secondary page and the other page and i ain't uploading in a minute on my uh, third page but i'll start uploading on there and i do still have a, a habitual account so oh and also um the odyssey page but uh, we're going to see, but I'm, I'm going to play this, all right, to show you that they definitely communicate through a medium with the spiritual demon Satan on how to increase that knowledge to create this uh, technology that we're seeing. So let's uh, listen real quick. Matter of fact, hold on, so lucky. let me uh, adjust the audio so we don't get no uh, echoes. <clears throat> all right. This this uh, collider mm -hmm. and um, these beings that and that collider is talking about CERN or that that uh, portal machine that they use to you know open up um, portals to the to the spiritual realm to to you know basically bring in uh, demons and they communicate with these uh, demons. This is what he's basically saying. They're in communication with. So we're talking about the, the premier scientists on planet Earth right now who are actively engaged, according to, to their own words, communicating with something, something with a personality, uh, in their own words, in a, in a, from another dimension. And that's the purpose of the... Uh, uh, the, the, the collider. I mean, people need to understand, this is not science fiction. This That's is correct. fact. That's correct. What I write about in my novels, right. I place a storyline that is embedded with science fact. Everything that I present publicly in the books, public speaking, is all drawn from their own scientific journals and white papers. And then I'm able to see what they're doing. Not just extrapolate, but see in the real time what it is they're doing. Not a future agenda, but what they're doing right now today. The imminency of what they intend to do, which is opening this gateway. And understand that the world of science in terms of particle physics also overlaps into DNA, into biology. Yes. There's a multifaceted, multi-level agenda at play, not just with CERN, but its proof of concept feeder labs around the world that feed into CERN. So we are talking about changing humans, changing the planet. We're talking about... Um... 
And this is why these devils are so confident. All right. Like they got their little priest prophet. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Yuval uh, Noah Harari, you know, who's been uh, flat out just talking all kind of shit and denouncing the Most High and his only begotten son. And that's why even it says in Psalms, the second chapter, why do the heathen rage? Why do they imagine a vain thing? You know, they really think in their heads that with all this uh, technology and all this uh, left hand power that they have, that they're just going to be able to, you know, transcend, you know, the Most High and, and supersede his power. And that they're going to basically replace the Most High and they're going to be gods on earth. They're, 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 you know, delusional. All right. But this is what gives them their their confidence, you know, to boast of their heart's desire that they're going to follow through on their uh, wicked agendas. All right. Now, let's get a uh, real quick. This is also in Psalms. Psalms 140, verse eight. And it says, grant not, O Yahweh, the desires of the wicked. Further, not his wicked device, you know, his, his plots, plans, his schemes, lest they exalt themselves a lot. You know, because once they're able to accomplish these things, that's when they exalt themselves. And the more they exalt themselves, the more they, you know, will, will, will push for more authority and power over the people. And therefore, you know, we become even more, more hard pressed or it's like you're oppressed you know, from these uh, devils. So that's why the Lord's going to uh, uh, eventually, you know, he's going to, you know, stop them in their tracks. He's going to, you know, cut off that power that they do have in their hands. He's going to cut it off to where they won't be able to have access to those uh, left hand entities. All right. And that's when they're going to want to go into uh, hiding. Because these you know, the, the sorceries, you know, that they uh, are, are practicing, it's, they're still not going to uh, win. They're going to lose. It's Isaiah 47. And verse 12, it says, Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail all right let's read this in the uh the nlt is ultimately is what they use to put spells on on the people which is why they're these people are under strong delusion believing in his lies it says now use your magical charms use the spells you have worked at all these years Maybe they will do you some good. Maybe they can make someone afraid of you. You see that? Because these are uh, witches and uh, warlocks, man. You know, Esau's left-hand priesthood, where they, they work in tangent with Satan and, and, and the demons, in which we know that the principalities is basically, uh, um, it's like a hierarchy, a ranking system of, of, of spirits. All right. It says, uh, "Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels, you know, the secret counsels of the wicked. Let now the astrologers and stargazers, the monthly prognosticators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee." And 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 you know that power, that left hand power that comes from them, is not going to uh, help on the day of the Lord when the Lord, you know, shows up. <laughs> that that power is going to be uh, withdrawn from you. And you're going to be left on your own. The Lord's going to basically step in to, 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 to remind you that you're just man. All right? You're, ju you're just man. You're not the most high. Even though he's going to, you know, still leave you under that strong delusion. That's why it says in Obadiah, the, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwelleth in the clefts of the rock. Because when you go up above, Verse 10, it says, for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness. Verse 10, thou hast said, none seeth me thy wisdom and thy knowledge. All right. 
which is, you know, their modern uh, science and technology, it have perverted thee. And thou hast said in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it riseth, and mischief shall fall upon thee, thou shalt not be able to put it off, and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. It's going to come upon you like a thief. All right? And you ain't going to be able to draw it back when the Lord brings it upon you. Because you, you forget the Lord allowed you to get this power. Just like he allowed Pharaoh to become like a god. That power, the, the, the miracles that the Magi was able to do under Pharaoh, that was given to them by the left-hand side. Okay? So what Esau is doing in his day is nothing new. So you hear what they're saying in this interview, all right, about them tapping into those portals. All right, and that's why you're seeing all type of, you know, major things happening in the earth. All right, you know, people bugging out, people going crazy because they didn't unleash the spirits. But there's a there's, there's a force field of protection over the Lord's elect. And also, we, we can't forget the Lord prayed for us. You know, Lord willing, you know, we of the elect. The Lord, you know, he, he prayed that that they shouldn't be taken out of the world, but that they should be kept from evil. And that's what you should always uh, pray for every day that the Lord, you know, protect you from from evil and from evil spirits, because that's what we're up against. And Satan takes no breaks, man. So let's uh, go to this video real quick, because I remember doing a lesson on this uh, over a year ago with this uh, this former uh, FEMA operative. Uh, she was breaking down. All right, that they communicate and use synergies. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's around a yeah, two minute, 20 second mark. A N O. I want you to pay attention to that particular um, formation in the sky. And basically, as I've been telling you for the last few months, just like in the book of Esther, just like in the book of Job, um, the researchers and scientists and the powers that be are calling upon the, the sweet influences of the stars to amplify. So you see how they deal with, you know, certain constellations in the sky. All right. L listen to what she's actually saying, man. This is how they communicate with them left hand entities. So they got CERN and then they also deal with the constellations. You uh, bring that back. And just like in the book of Esther, just like in the book of Job, um, the researchers and scientists and the powers that be are calling upon the the sweet influences of the stars to amplify and um, have a synergism with the vaccine that they are deploying right now. This just happens to be a rough formation of the Pleiades system. And so we'll be getting into cosmology as well today. So we're going to. So they deal with, with cosmology. They're scientists, they're witches and warlocks. So she's saying that this is what they did to come up with that. Uh, you know, she said the the, the magic word. Uh, that's why I said I hope they don't uh, strike me for it. But uh, you know, we know that 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 juice is infused with left hand technology. All right, and it has the the, the ability to alter. You know your 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 uh basically your humanity all right and um satan basically gave them that on the left hand side who works for the most side now when you go to uh let's go to ephesians this is uh, apostle paul you know he was uh admonishing the church that you know this is what we're up against so we got to you know keep 
keep the armor of the most high upon us at all times ephesians 6 and 10 it says finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil and you know that that word wild go back to trickery you know his methods his strategies all right you got to be privy to uh you know what this devil is doing on the left hand side it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities you know that's that ranking uh hierarchy of uh spirits all right demons and, and, and angels it says against powers, meaning authorities, all right, which the, the, the super rich, the globalists, you know, they're mo your modern powers that control all these different governments that, that, that fund these uh, corporations and, and government entities, okay, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And that's, you know, who they're uh, in, in unison with, all right, and when you look up the rulers of the darkness of this world is like a rulers. You see right here, the word is a uh, cosmocrator. Let me see. Uh, let me uh, see how he pronounces Strong's G twenty eight eighty eight, cosmocrator, cosmocrator, cosmocrator. And it says, Lord of the world, prince of this age, the devil and his demons. All right. Now, you know, you know, it's, it's broken down into two root words. The first being cosmos. And the second being. Kratio. Kratio. And the, it means to have power. Be powerful to be chief. Be master of to rule. Okay. So let's go to Cosmos, in which you know, for the most part, you know, we we know in the English, you know, when we come across the word world, a good number of times. Well, as it says right here, 186 times. The word for uh, world is a uh, cosmos, and this and it's really mainly associated with the nation of Israel, the world of Israel. All right, but um, when you read the definition, it says an apt or harmonious arrangement or constitution, order, government. Right, ornament, decoration, adornment, i.e., the arrangement of the stars, the heavenly hosts as the ornament of the heavens you see that the cosmos of, of of the heavens the the basically the the constellation and this woman this uh insider this uh researcher who had a uh, history with uh fema she's basically telling you that these scientists they deal with the cosmos the cosmology so we're up against the rulers of the darkness of this world. The the the, the cosmo uh, Kratos. This is what they dealing with on the left hand side, man. All right. It says, uh, "Let me see." Uh, scriptures they got john 12 31 now is the judgment of this world now shall the prince of this world be cast out and he is going to be cast out the lord said he saw satan you know uh fall from heaven as lightning so he's not gonna uh it's not gonna be a one-sided fight second corinthians 4 and 4 says in whom the god of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not yeah the the, the demons that they work with you know, it's why a lot of these people are in gross darkness. They don't know what the hell is going on. They're blinded by uh, the spiritual demon Satan. They believe on Esau's uh, science and technology. They don't even believe in the Mosai anymore. They don't believe in his word. 
You see? That spirit of anti-Messiah is, is increased in the earth. All right, it says, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Amashiach was the image of the Most High should shine unto them. Okay? So, yeah, this is what we're up against, man. And then I'm, uh, I'm going to leave it with this last video. And I believe I've uh, put it up before, but I'm going to play it again. Elon Musk telling you himself what, what, what they're doing with this technology. Tesla Motors CEO Elon Musk, it has nothing to do with cars. Instead, Musk warns about artificial intelligence, which he has called more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Musk spoke at a symposium at MIT. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> then work out. I take it there will be no HAL 9000 going up to Mars. <laughs> HAL 9000 would be easy. <laughs> it's way more complex than, I mean, it would put HAL 9000 to shame. Yeah. Sounds like a puppy dog. <laughs> so they're telling you right in your face, man. We're summoning the demon with this technology. All right? So that's why the scriptures say, to, to, to put on the, the armor, man. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that you may be able to stand against the evil. It's like withstanding the evil day and having done all to stand. Okay? And eventually, the Lord's going to offset this devil. He's going to, you know, the, the witchcraft that they got in their hand, he's going to cut it off. In Micah 5 and 12, it says, And I will cut off witchcraft out of thine hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. Thy graven images also will I cut off. And your temples of Baal, your obelisk, uh, your, your Molech statues, you'll cut it all off. It says, and, and thy standing images out of the midst of thee, and thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. All right? You're going to cut off all their left hand power. And get rid of all their idols. And I will pluck up thy groves, thy groves out of the midst of thee. So I will destroy thy cities. And I will execute vengeance and anger and fury upon the heathen such as they have not heard. All right. And Yahweh Shai and the angels are going to come back and execute that vengeance. And that's the day of the Lord. All right. So, you know, ultimately they're not going to, uh, they're not going to win. We're going to overcome them. Okay, but this is what they're dealing with. Okay, and so uh, you know that that's pretty much it. I don't want to go into that. You know, Lord willing, you know, y'all edified. I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and unto y'all. Watch me, y'all shy. To the next lesson, shalom.